What's up guys, this is Rob of Black Hill Woodwork and in today's video we're going to be turning this old piece of wood to a nice table lamp. First things first, find your center, already did that. Because this is a nice long piece, I like to connect it with a faceplate. You could connect it in between centers and make a tenon, but I just find it more secure with a faceplate. We got our piece ready to turn, put on the lathe, and see what we can make. Bring my tailstock in close, but not touching. Have my lathe on the slowest speed and turn it on. Now you can advance your tailstock and you'll find the best center point. Okay, so first steps, let's round this thing out. Once it's rounded out, then we'll figure out a shape. Fast way to check if your piece is rounded out. If your bowl gouge is bouncing like that, it is not round. Basically round over there. Maybe a little bit of a flat spot, but not right here. All right, basically round, that's good enough. Let me move this round this out a little bit you do have to remember that there's screws in here so don't cut maybe on the safe side an inch so i'll round this out right here stop about right here okay so our piece is rounded out enough it's not perfect but it's okay now i gotta think of a design and uh, get to it, I guess. Usually I just go for it, but I don't know. <laughs> I might go for it, I might look up a design. Still thinking. All right, so I was looking up some designs. I still don't really know what I'm gonna go for. Um, I was thinking a simple design, but then I don't know if I really want a simple design. I don't know, I'm just gonna go for it like I usually do. Hopefully it turns out all right. And uh, if it doesn't, I'm not going to have any regrets because I'm just going to go for it. It's going to be a unique design for sure. Okay, so I like what's going on right here, but I'm not really sure what to do up here. <laughs> That's the issue with just going straight off of the dome. <laughs> but I'll figure it out, I think. Kind of liking it, I think. Nice little classical look. Um, some old wood. There's a lot of chips here and there. I'll try to make a cleaner cut, but um, sanding it should do the trick anyway. So let me try to clean up some of these marks. And then we need to flatten the bottom, or at least not the bottom, actually the top. And then we need to drill a hole throughout the whole thing so the wire could go through it. These are very gentle and light cuts. Oh, 
well, helped out a little bit in some areas, but it's okay. Sanding will definitely help the rest. So I made a lamp before and I used a very, very long drill bit to go throughout the whole thing. But you actually don't want to start with that on the lathe. You want to start with a Forstner bit, which is uh, a little bit shorter, actually a lot shorter, so that you get a perfect center point, and then you want to finish it off with a nice long drill bit. I know that sounds confusing. Let me get my drill bit, and I'll show you guys. So here's a drill bit that I'll be using to core out the whole piece. Not coring it out, but just a nice hole throughout the whole thing for the wires, and it's huge. So, I mean, I could hook this up to the Jacobs chuck, right here and try to you know make the hole but the thing is it's so long that it's actually very wiggly at the end and last time i tried to do that it made a hole after a while but it was just not centered at all so i have a lamp in my basement that just does not look right so what we're actually going to do let's get your jacobs chuck if you have one I'm going to use this Forstner bit, which is much shorter as you guys can see. I'll make a hole nice and centered. And then after that, I'll come in with this and drill it all the way through. But before that, we need to take off the tail support and uh, turn the top a little bit. So let's turn this away and then we can use the Forstner bit. So we got our Forstner bit in, we're gonna drill as far as we can go, and then we'll get the long drill bit and go all the way through. Another quick tip is in your lamp kit, you're gonna have to put this little threaded, I don't know, piece of metal in there. Um, definitely look at the size of your Forstner bit or your drill bit. You don't wanna make it way too big or way too small. You guys could also just glue it in, but, uh, it's definitely a lot easier if you get the size right. All right. Now comes probably the hardest part in my opinion. Ow, I just burned my skin with that Forstner bit. We got to get our drill and go all the way through now. I might actually take it off the lathe and sit it down because at this angle, I don't know if I'm going straight in and the last thing I want is this thing coming off the side. So I don't know if I'm gonna record that. I'm gonna take it off the lathe, sit it down, and just drill straight down all the way through. All right guys, so we're back. I am a little bit out of breath. I had this thing sitting upright with the drill just going as hard as I could all the way. I think I got it all the way through. Not sure if it's going straight through. I think I had it at kind of an angle because it was pretty tough to drill in. But as long as it's um, centered at the top right here, it'll be fine. I don't care if that hole is wherever on the, the bottom. As long as it doesn't go through the actual piece, it's okay. We just want this to be centered. So now let's sand it from 80 to 400 grit. And then we could take it off the lathe and uh, put that hardware in. All right guys, so here it is after sanding to 400 grit. I'm gonna add a little style to this by using my torch and burning it. I do know that this piece is very dry, so I gotta be careful. I don't wanna hold the flame on it too long and have it crack.
All right, I think that's good enough. Now I'm gonna get my Yorkshire grit, put it all over here and buff off all that soot. I think that's what it's called, soot. <laughs> Not as much as I thought it would be on my hand, but regardless, some Yorkshire grit. You wanna apply it all over the piece and then buff it off until that sandy texture goes away. I'm also using the black abrasive pad just to get off all those minor bumps. All right, pretty cool, pretty cool. Now I'll get my parting tool, cut this thing off. I'm not gonna go all the way through because you don't want this thing flying at you, but you're gonna go almost all the way through and then finish it off with some kind of saw, hand saw, whatever you got. Okay, <laughs> looks good, but if you guys are following along, you know that there's one issue with this. And that issue is that there's supposed to be a hole going all the way through, and there should be a hole there. And there's not. So, I'm gonna go put this on another piece of wood, try to drill straight through. Um, the other piece of wood on the bottom is just there, so when it does go through, it doesn't hit the cement or whatever so let's go and do that all right guys so it got the hole like i said before i didn't think that i was drilling straight it doesn't matter on the bottom all matters is the top that is right there in the middle so now we need to make a hole right here so that our wire could come out you guys could make like a little ridge through here if you have like a router table so that the wire goes in that ridge and doesn't you know mess it up when you're trying to sit it flat but i'm just going to make a hole right about here okay hopefully that's big enough if it's not i'll just come back with a bigger drill bit so now we could just go inside well first off i'm gonna well i was gonna sand that but it's not too bad i think that's fine i will sand the bottom on my belt sander Get that all the way to 400 grit. And then next step is we go inside, put the hardware in. Oh. All right guys, so we're inside about to put the hardware on, but before that, I'm gonna put some finish on here. Some tried and true original. I'm gonna wipe this on, leave it on there for about 30 to 45 minutes, and then wipe it off. If you guys came here to see how to attach the hardware to your lamp, I'll tell you right now, this is not the place for you. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can see. Well, actually, yeah, you can. Here's my laptop because I'm looking up videos on how to put it in. So even I don't really know what I'm doing. Looks a lot nicer with that finish on here. So I'll finish applying this on, and then in 45 minutes, I'll wipe it off and put that hardware on. All right, guys, here it is. Here's the lamp. Sorry for not including any of the installation process. It took me a while. Probably shouldn't have taken me that long, but it did. So I just decided not to put it in the video. I actually didn't even record, to be honest with you guys. Uh, it just took a while. So I don't think you guys want to watch me do that. So I guess the next step is to test and see if it works. Whoa! Don't knock it over. <laughs> oh my god. Alright. There you go. It works. Awesome little project. Making the actual base of the lamp definitely is pretty simple. It's just drilling through the whole thing. And then for me, the installation. But if you guys are a better electrician than I am, which I'm sure all of you are, it shouldn't be too big of an issue so but 
Appreciate you guys watching. If you stayed this far into the video, thank you. Appreciate it. See you guys in the next one. And peace.